Hey everyone and welcome back to Salem the Game. In this episode, we're going to be going over some money-making tips in order to help yourself get settled in the wilderness. Now the first thing I want to let you know is that some of my methods to make money may be a little bit different than some others, but for the most part, this will be a very fast and easy way to make some money in order to help yourself get set up later on. You're going to want to buy a claim stone which costs about 150 silver, and this can be a little bit hard for new players that don't know how to make money, but I'm going to teach you an easy way to make money and get on to making your own claim. So first off, what you're going to want to do is open up your studying tab. Now if you haven't seen the last episode, I bought the foraging skill as you can see here. And in the foraging skill, you can make yourself some berry straws and also use the foraging movement, which is right over here. And when I turn that on, it'll help me find more items in a single area, it'll basically spawn more items whenever I'm walking around. And whenever you buy skills, usually, they unlock other skills unless they're the final skill in their own tree. So as part of the, I'll call it the foraging tree, uh, one of the skills that's unlocked is called Indian Tracking. Now the good thing about Indian Tracking is that it lets you find items that spawn called Indian Feathers. And what you can do with these Indian Feathers is if you have Indian arrowheads, you can actually match them up in a crafting recipe and create uh, savage charms. And you can sell these savage charms for 30 silver each. And if you can do the math, 30 times 5, as in 5 savage charms, will be enough for your claim stone to cover your area in order to protect yourself from people that are walking by. Now we haven't even found an area yet, so we don't have to worry about the money right this second. But on the way to finding the area we're going to want to live, we will be able to find these savage, uh, these Indian feathers to make the savage charms. And when I open up my inventory, you can see that I've already found two Indian feathers. You might be wondering how I found these without actually having the Indian tracking skill. Another thing I want to mention is that you can find any item that spawns in these uh, logs over here without having any skills, because they are pretty much spawned by the chunks, and whenever you walk by them, they have a chance to spawn X amount of items and there's no limit depending on what you have it's all based on the server so if I open up this uh, log you'll see that there's a earthworm and two smooth stones and a rotten log now I would have no skills required to find these items and I could even find and I'll show you it look like this I can even find an Indian feather inside the log without having the Indian tracking skill the Indian tracking skill just allows me to find the items on the ground as if I was picking up a flower or even a uh, autumn grass as you can see right over here. So basically it's just a higher spawn rate allowed for you and it allows you to see the items on the ground. And this will pretty much speed up the process of making some money. And I found these two, uh, these two Indian feathers in about 10 to 15 minutes. So if you do the math, it's in about another 10 to 15 minutes until I'd find another two. And in about half an hour, I could probably have enough to pay for my own claim stone. So it's really not too much work, and I haven't even gotten the skill. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to get the skill really easily. So all you need is two smooth stones and either a sunny sunflower or a tumbleweed. And you can use some other items as well, and I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, you can copy me if you want. I'm going to study this one. Hmm and this one hmm. and as you can see oh sorry actually I need one more uh, yeah I'll use one more sorry you need actually three hmm. smooth stones and the last skill I'm gonna need is faith and wisdom the last proficiency so I can either study this sunny sunflower or the tumbleweed I prefer to use the sunny sunflower because I find them easier uh, they spawn a lot more frequently I think in the desired biome which will be the Greenland biome which you can see as I circle on the map uh, there's another biome as well that doesn't show up right now because I'm not near it but it's called the uh, it's I think it's called the woodland biome it's it looks like a darker darker woods not as dark as the coniferous biome but a little bit more of a green dark green biome so I'm going to use that and that'll be enough mm. to get my faith and wisdom up a little bit in order to buy the Indian tracking skill yep so now I have Indian tracking and if I walk around I'm sure within maybe 10 minutes I'd at least find one spawned on the ground as if I was looking for a flower or an autumn grass as I said before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually walk around uh, towards the west a little bit and just pretty much look for some items and I'm going to skip the video a little bit 
But before I go, I just wanted to let you know that the point of this is to walk to the west because the, you start on the east side of the of the map. You want to walk more towards the west where less players live in order to be pretty much farther from the other people that might be either raiding or walking past your base you might not want them to find. Um, so the point of this is to walk west and along the way to your possible settlement location you'll be able to find uh, some Indian some Indian feathers in order to make some money. So like I said I'm going to pause the video now and I'll let you know uh, how many I find in about 10 minutes and from there hopefully I might even have enough to get my own claimstone. Hey everyone, so I found 4 Indian feathers in about 15 minutes. Now this is actually pretty quick, I'm not sure how fast it would be for everyone, but for me the average is about 4 and 15 minutes, which is about 120 silver whenever you find the Indian arrowheads to go along with it. And I'm sure you will, as you can see I found many more Indian arrowheads than I did feathers. So overall it's about 15 minutes for 120 silver as a new player. And that required almost no skill. I only found one of them on the ground because those are a little bit more rare. I find that they spawn in stumps more often. So as a recommendation for me, I say check every stump and log you find because for the most part, that's where you'll find these. Now the next part is going to be totally a recommendation on my part. This is not required of you to do. And by no means am I saying you have to do this. But I actually recommend that you take a fast travel to the west and the reason I say this is only because you usually spawn really close to the east coast and you actually want to get much farther west uh, as, as far as possible really until until you can't go too much more because of the uh, the drain you'll actually receive the farther you go but for the most part you want to be very far into the west so I'm going to show you how to do that now so I'm actually going to skip to that part what you're going to want to do is build a lean-to if you don't know how you're going to go to build so I'm gonna, you're going to go to build then buildings and structures, claims and defenses, and lean-to. Okay, and you're going to place the lean-to down, and as you can see, I'm going to need two hay and uh, ten wood blocks. So I'm going to put some wood blocks that I already have in there. Okay, and... Here we go, I found some wood. And that's how you build a lean-to, so what lean-to is is pretty much your, your way of fast traveling back to the main town. You're going to want to do this often, as long as you're traveling for the most part, and it's pretty much like a checkpoint. But for us, it's going to be a way to leave and find our fast travel to the west. So, I'm going to need two hay, and to get hay, you're going to want to go to crafting, then processing of materials, and hay. I'm going to make two of those. Cool. Now I can put my two hay in. And the rest of my wood blocks. And I will make that my homestead. Now I can easily port to Providence. If you didn't notice already, I had my home and my port tab both in F1 and F2 only because I find it easiest to get to without having to go to the travel menu. So I usually drag these over there. So I'm going to port to Providence. So here we are in the big city and I just got here so first of all I'm going to show you how to make your money from the items you just collected. Now as you can see none of my items are ready to sell. I'm going to need to make the Savage Charms in order to sell them for 30 silver each. So I'm going to go to my Crafting tab, my Inspirationals tab, and then Savage Charm. And as you can see, it needs one arrowhead and one feather. So I'm going to craft all in order to easily craft all these. Now, 
before I like before I actually sell these, I actually have some other items I can sell as well, and I picked these up. I can sell these dried timber rattler skins for four silver each, and I can also sell the arrowheads themselves for just two silver each. But I don't mind because I'm going to need a little bit of that money to pay for my western trip, which is going to cost fifty silver. So I will sell these savage charms at the stall right here. After I, I don't know if you saw, but I went to it and I click sell. Now, as you can see, the price is 30 silver right down here. 30 silver per Savage Charm. And up here, you can see it's only 2 silver for the arrowheads themselves. So it's a little bit cheaper, but as I said, I'm going to need a total of uh, 200 silver. And I have 185 right now. So I'm going to sell a few of these to get enough money to pay for the uh, Western trip. And now I have 201. Perfect. So now what you're going to want to do is go to the northwest and you're going to go past the, the berry bushes as you can see here there's a bunch of berry bushes over here. This can also be a good way to collect some bushes but usually people have harvested most of them. Oh, there we go, I can actually pick some. But I won't, I don't need them right now. As you can see I gained up to 14 biles and that should be enough for now, 14 humors. So this guy right here the one over on the, the west side, he's going to take you to the west and it's going to cost 50 silver. So you're going to want to accept, but before you do, you're going to actually need a uh, writ of homesteading. But we're not going to get it yet because we're not even ready to, to settle yet, so we're going to go anyway. And now, we are at the western outpost. So from here, as you can see, we are far away we are in a outpost that's right in the middle of the map for the most part. So from here, I usually recommend walking either northwest or southwest. Uh, either way, mat either either way doesn't ma uh, matter too much. But I'm going to take the southwest route. A little bit of lag. So I'm going to take the southwest route in order to find a place that I want to live. And some ideal area would be near. As you can see here, there's some white on the map. That is, I believe, lime. Is it? No, sorry, that's clay. Sorry. <laughs> Big clay pit right there. Um, what you're going to want to do is... Oh, is it? Actually, I think that is a big lime pit. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so this is a huge lime pit. So you're going to want to live near some lime. Probably not going to be this big. It's going to be more like something... Like little patches like this that you can see over in the distance. Uh, that's going to be more realistic towards what you're looking for. And you're also going to want to look for clay pits, which are... A little darker than this lime pit. Uh, same, similar color on the map, just a little bit more of an orange tint, pinkish tint. Um, so th those are the two main things you're going to want to live near. And other than that, you do want a little bit of a variety in your biome. So you don't want to live in a giant X biome, so a giant coniferous biome or giant jungle biome, only because it'll be that much harder to get other items you will might you might need from other biomes uh, in general. So. I'm actually going to walk southwest, and I will pause the video and skip to a part when I have found a nice area, and I will show you the benefits of that area that I've found and explain why that might be good for you to live in as a player. So I will skip now, and I will see you in the next part of the video. Hey again, everyone. So I've just traveled about an hour or two, and that was running, so that might be a little bit longer for you. It could be up to two to three hours to find an area like this, relatively unsettled. I traveled southwest, and this is the type of area you will want to look for. You might not be able to find every component that I've had, but for the most part, you want to find at least lime and water, and I'll show you what both those look like. So you can see, to my west, you can see my characters right here. To the west, I have water which is very accessible, it's within very short walking distance, and this is very useful for sifting out uh, rubble, for planting a garden, you're going to need a lot of water, things like that. Uh, and to my right, uh, to the east and to the north, I have a lot of lime pits, which are these white spots that I'm going to show you right now. And lastly, to the top right, you can find uh, a clay pit. And this is a little bit farther, I've chosen to settle closer to the lime because I find that lime is uh, more valuable and you don't need clay as much all the time and for the most part 
you can even keep your clay production at the clay site. So whenever you need clay, you can walk over there. But I prefer to have the lime close by and the water for sure. So I've chosen this area. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to claim the area that you have found. And the way I do this is you go to Buildings and Structures in your Building tab. You're going to go to Claims and Defenses. And then you will see, oh, I do not have the skill. So I'm going to have to go to Study. And I believe the skill is called, yes, Settling. Okay, so I will need 700 Law and Lore. So I'm going to open up my uh, inventory. Let's see if I have any that give Law and Lore. Okay, these stray chestnuts are perfect for it. So I'm going to study these. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. All right. Now I can get settling pretty hmm. easily. Hmm. As you can hmm. see, a lot of this game is pretty much just hmm. studying items uh, and leveling up your character in order to do most of the things you're going to want to do. And it's, it's just something you're going to have to get used to as you play the game. Hmm. So let's see here. I can use uh, Beetle for Perennial Philosophy. Perennial Philosophy is actually one of the hardest skills to find uh, inspirationals for. Not sure why exactly. Hmm. Okay, so I have Settling now. And you will see if I open up my Building tab again. In my Buildings and Structures, Claims and Defenses, that I have a Stake Claim. Okay. And I've already gone to Providence to the stall that I sold my uh, Savage Charms to. And I bought myself rid of Homesteading, which is right here. And that's going to cost 150 silver. I also bought myself a purse to put my silver so that if I get knocked out by a bear, snake, drowning even, I won't lose anything on my body. So of course, the purse on my body is also not lost, including the money inside it. So it's a very easy way to keep your money if you ever are afraid of getting knocked out and losing your items. That's a surefire way to keep your stuff. Unless it gets stolen from another player. So I'm going to mine 5 stone because that's the requirement for one of these uh, stake claims. And while I do that, I will butcher this. Oh, I can't even butcher it. Oh, well. Three more stones and I'll be able to build my, uh, my stake claim. And I will do that right, right here, right next to my... Uh, Right next to my lean to. Uh, one more thing, actually, before I place this. If you didn't know already, whenever you are building something, uh, you can actually hold shift and the scroll wheel to make it a tiled placement. So it'll place on the tiles uh, of the map. And it'll, you can use the, sh the scroll wheel to ro rotate your items and your structures so that they are flat uh, along the surface so you don't have to worry about slightly misplaced items. So I'm going to place it right here and I will build my my claim my claim of land. Now if you can, if you can see um, for the most part the area is very small but if I right click the area I can actually extend all the way to the north, south, east, and west and make my area bigger. As you can see, it's going to cost 107 to do something like this, so I'm not going to do it yet because I have nothing really to protect. But as you go on in the game, you're going to want to expand your area, and any area that's covered by this this blue square that you own uh, cannot be trespassed on legally, and it cannot be uh, stolen from legally. And anyone that does crimes on these will leave scents that you can track. And I will go over that in another episode, especially if we ever find any here. So I think that wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you can find a place similar to this, and I hope you had an easy time making some money to go through with the purchase of your own claim. And along the way, I was actually able to find an extra 150 silver, and that can be used towards other things such as nails and other materials in the future that I might not have on hand. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.